In this section, I'm going to talk about tracking customers and orders. I went ahead and placed an order on the site. I'm going to do it again just so you can see the process. Shopify makes it really easy. So I'm going to add that to my cart. I'm going to put three of them in there just so we can apply the discount as well. And go to checkout. So it's looking for an email or a phone number here. I'm going to put my personal email address in and obviously I'm going to mask that. I like everybody, but I don't want you all emailing me, of course. I am going to go ahead and keep up to date on news and exclusive offers from my store. I'm going to put in my last name. I'm going to put in an address. And because we're using fake credit cards on the test mode, I can do all of this fake information and the system will be just fine with it. I'm going to add my discount. And so you see my total is 5136 because I'm in Indiana and it's calculating the taxes for me nicely after the discount has been applied. So that's really good. We'll continue to the shipping method. It's grabbing all of the shipping opportunities for me. USPS, which we set up earlier, or the standard shipping rate. I'll just go ahead and take the USPS priority mail. Continue to payment method. And this is where testing out your store really helps. The fake credit card number is a series of 424242s. You can use a fake name. You can use a fake date that's somewhere in the future and a fake CVV number. And the system will accept it. Of course, nothing's being ordered really and no money is being exchanged. So I can add a billing address here if I want and I can save my information for faster checkout. Next time you check out here or any stores powered by Shopify, you'll receive a code by SMS to securely purchase with Shopify Pay. So I'm not going to do this again. We're just testing the store, but you can see how that works and it's really slick. I'm going to go ahead and complete the order. And there we go. My order is confirmed. I've paid $58.69 with the discount code called opening and I can continue shopping or be done with it. Just so you can see, here's the confirmation email I got. And again, I did not update any of the templates, but boy, is it nice and slick. You can see all the information that I was sent. Here's the order confirmation that I got as the system administrator. Not so pretty, but again, it gives me all the information I need. Now I can go ahead and fulfill the order. Well, speaking of orders, let's take a look at the customer record and their order. So back in my store, I have two orders, both from me, of course, with different email addresses. So I was able to create two different people. They are paid, but unfulfilled. Clicking on customers, I can see that I have two customers. You'll see that my email address was different. And when I click on my customer, I've been a customer for seven minutes. I can add a note. I have one unfulfilled order from the store. Here's my email address. I accept email marketing, though I did not create an account when I set the user up. I can also add tags and comments here. Now, this is one of the really powerful features of customer management because you can leave comments here and allow your staff to see the history of the person that they're dealing with. And if they might be a difficult customer or a very particular customer, you can add comments in here to better help your staff meet their needs. So commenting your, your customers in the timeline here can be really important. I'm going to give myself a nice big smiling emoji. I'm going to post that. And there it is. I've added a comment to that person's timeline. Let's go ahead and fulfill that order. And it's as simple as this. I'm going to click the order itself. I'm going to fulfill this order. I can even buy a shipping label. Just by clicking there, my credit card will be charged for $6.85. I get a slight discount there. And I'm able to add insurance and signature confirmation. Now, this is here because I put a fake address in and USPS can't find the address. If I'd put a real address in as my shipping address, well, that would disappear and I'd be able to buy a shipping label. The shipping date, what date am I going to go take this to the drop off point? That's today. And send shipment details to my customer now. And I can mark it as fulfilled simply because I don't have 
the correct address in there. So I'll mark as fulfill items. Now that changes the status in my orders to fulfilled. One other thing I want to point out here on the screen, you'll get all kinds of great information in Shopify conversion summary, fraud analysis. You can view the full analysis here. Again, because I am using the test gateway, that is pretty low. My order has been fulfilled. And here's the confirmation email I got when the order was marked fulfilled. I can even view my order just by clicking on the link. And there it is. So Shopify manages all of that information for you. It's really remarkable for just a few pennies a day.